Namaste yoga friends, my name is Doreen Foxwell. Welcome to today's Kids Yoga Meets Astrology. Today happens to be the first day of spring or the spring equinox. We have equal parts day and equal parts night. What a beautiful day it is to here in North Carolina where I'm coming to you from. Just in the 70s and delightful. It's a wonderful first day of spring. It's when we celebrate all, everything starting to bud and grow. All the little creatures of this world starting to come out. The flowers are starting to grow. Oh, it's just wonderful. And so it's a great time to get outside if you can, if it's warm enough where you are, and to just get out in nature and enjoy nature go out by the trees, go out by the plants, go out in the grass. Um, but if you can't do that, you can do a makeshift one like I have. Or if you have indoor plants or indoor flowers, even better to use them. And take a moment to just appreciate what grows here on earth and what your child is going to grow into this spring and summer and year. We are entering the time that lots of things will grow out of the earth and outside of the earth, and that includes your children. And so it's just a wonderful time for you to appreciate all the gifts that your child has come here with to share, to illuminate those gifts, to encourage those gifts to come out. Just imagine if every day was like the spring equinox where it was 12 hours of light and 12 hours of dark. Wow, so much we would accomplish if every day was like that. We are right in that midpoint from the winter equinox and the summer equinox, right in the middle here. And we're also, if you watched yesterday's uh, video, it's the start of the astrology new year, uh, a new zodiac sign, which is Aries, new energy pushing forward. But I just wanted to come on and wish you a happy spring, dress in spring colors, feel the beauty of spring, See the beauty of spring, even if you live in those colder climates, like back home for me in New York that I just got back from visiting. I know it's cold. I know it's snowy, but there are signs of spring there. I saw the daffodils popping up for some people. And so, yoga friends, we're going to do a flower pose for a moment, and we're going to do half lotus because a lot of yoga friends cannot go into the full lotus pose with their feet in which you put both feet up. So just put one foot up on your lap, put your thumb and pinky together to create a lotus flower, put it in front of your heart, breathe in and imagine you can smell your flower. It doesn't have to be a lotus flower. It could be a rose. It could be a daffodil, it could be a sunflower, it could be a tulip. Just imagine your flower in front of your heart. Not only the smell and not only the color and what it looks like, but imagine how flowers make you feel. And how do flowers make somebody you give flowers to feel? Do flowers make you feel happy? Or if you give them to somebody, do they make them feel happy? Do they make you feel loved? Do they make the person feel loved and cared for? That is the beauty of flowers. Namaste. Happy spring equinox today. I will see you next time.